Another thing that I need to do before I catheterize this patient is lubricate the tip of this catheter. Once you're holding the patient's penis, don't let go at this point because there's a chance that you're going to contaminate yourself. You're going to want to lubricate the first three to four inches extremely well. And as far as how deep to insert it, it's recommended on a male patient that you insert it eight inches. And what I'm going to have Gina do is visually show you, give you an idea of how much of this catheter is eight inches. So I even have to go about down to here. So this is approximately eight inches. That's just a guideline. You're going to want to make sure that you're going to get a urine return. Get up closer to the tip of your catheter so that it's not wobbling. And like I said before, this is where this drape can come in handy in case you have too much and you accidentally touch the side of the patient. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. When you're ready to actually perform the procedure, what you need to do is put the penis in a 90 degree position perpendicular to the body. <clears throat> and have slight traction up. What this does is it straightens out the urethra for easier insertion. Going to have the patient relax, take some deep breaths, and have him let you know in case he's having a lot of discomfort. As you're inserting it, be aware if you feel any resistance. If you feel some resistance, what you can do is you can change the angle of the penis and try turning the catheter. And also you can ask the client to take some deep breaths and this may help relax the abdominal muscles for easier insertion. If nothing will work, then just stop the procedure and let the physician know that you're meeting blockage. Keep inserting the catheter at least eight inches and you're going to want to watch for urine flow. So at this point, we'll say that we're having urine flowing. I'm going to get my cup under here. For a urine specimen, you're going to want a minimum of 30 cc's of urine. Once you have 30 cc's or more of urine, what you can do is have the rest of the urine drain inside the basin. Let the rest of the urine drain out. And after there's no more urine draining out, then what you can do is withdraw the catheter. So again, you can just have the patient relax. And at this point, be very careful that as you're withdrawing the catheter, that you don't get any body fluids on your face from splash. So you can just pull it out very fast and cover it. At this point, the procedure is done. You could take care of the patient, wipe him up. Of course, still don't have him move. I have my urine here. I didn't get the lid on tight yet, so I'm going to tighten this up some. And be aware that some urine might have gotten around on the cup since I had my specimen container inside here. This is going to be placed in a, in a bag before it's sent down to the lab. And again, the rest of the urine in here, you can measure and then you could discard it in the um, toilet in the bathroom and make note of how many cc's total of urine and the color of the urine and the clarity of the urine. You want to make sure your patient's doing fine. Cover them up. 
You want to take care of that blanket for me? And after you've discarded everything and taken care of your urine specimen, you always want to make sure then you wash your hands again when you're done.